When zookeeper Morui threw a toy at a lion named Triton, she was shocked at its reaction. In fact, the lion's response not only reflected its character, but also made it famous worldwide. Moro worked at the Johannesburg Zoo in South Africa. The place that was Triton's home was a zoo that opened in 1904. At the time, there were only a handful of animals there, including a lion, a leopard and a giraffe. Over time, however, the zoo has become a habitat for more than 320 different animals, in addition, there are five other species of Africa's most famous animals that are among the largest as well as the most dangerous in Africa. These animals are some of the most difficult to hunt in Africa, especially elephants, buffalo, rhinoceros, leopards, and the king of all animals, the lion. This lion, named Triton, was born in the Johannesburg Zoo in the late 1990s and was kept in captivity by the keepers. The lion was one of the zoo's big cats at the time, and was the only animal to show interest in the event that brought it worldwide fame. However, this was not the only reason why the Triton was different. Triton was not a white lion, but it was close to the same species as the white lion, except that the white lion was lighter in color due to the recessive gene. If both male and female lions carried the recessive gene, their offspring could have different colors, and their coloration would darken with age. White lions like Triton would rarely be found in nature, and they are usually bred in captivity. According to breeder Mori, Triton had no other colors on its body, which meant it was a true rarity. It's not Triton's unique genetics that had made it so popular, however, in fact, it was after breeders noticed that Triton was getting bored with the environment and becoming lethargic that it became popular. Breeders were trying to find a way to diversify the lion's life. So Moroi, the director of this zoo, gave it a toy, yet its reaction was completely unexpected. Lion cubs would usually play with anything they could find, and besides being fun, they would use those things as hunting practice. When they reached adulthood, male lions usually develop this habit, however, adult female lionesses are usually very naughty. If they haven't already done so, it means they want to play with their lion cubs. If you want to learn more, please subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell. You can get inspiration from these animal stories. However, Triton was clearly an exception to this rule, as it has been mischievous throughout its years of maturity, which has provided much joy for visitors and its keepers. In fact, Morui actively encouraged Triton to have fun at play, and that enthusiasm set Triton apart from the other lions at this zoo. In 2011, Morui said on Barcroft TV that it's often difficult to see what the lions were doing. Back then, once she threw Triton's toy, as seen in this video, Triton would suddenly become excited and energetic. When Moro called the lion's name, it raised its huge furry head to thank its breeder. This video showed Moro having fun reacting when she threw Triton's beloved toy into the enclosure. The video showed that this lion seemed to have turned into a cat, and it slapped the ball with its huge paws, just like a pet cat playing with a ball of wool. In fact, Triton loved to play soccer. At the time, it could skillfully dribble the ball around the fence, even following the ball as it rolled into the water. Soccer fans expressed their support for the lion, who had an unusual hobby, in hundreds of comments on the internet. For example, one netizen commented on the first time, he saw a lion jump into the water in order to play, so he guessed that the lion really liked that ball, while another thought it was a messy lion, and compared it to a FC Barcelona star. Others thought the lion was in a good position to attack, which may have more to do with its teeth than its skill. Netizens were impressed by Triton's skill, 
and Laurie seemed more than happy to tell its story to others. In an interview in January 2010, Laurie joked about the lion's talent, saying that she thought Triton could use its skills to teach real soccer players, but that Triton might be a selfish soccer player. Triton reportedly refused to share the soccer ball with any of the lionesses, and wouldn't allow them to play in its enclosure. Morrow said it considered that to be a male game, so it would not share it with a female lion. Triton was the first lion to be known for its love of soccer, even though it was retired. In addition, staff said Triton rarely plays soccer due to old age, but it is healthy and enjoys its life at the zoo. It's important to note that Triton is not the only lion in the world who plays soccer. In fact, Triton has a rival in South Africa. Known as the Lion Whisperer, Kevin is known for his ability to touch and feed wild lions, and reportedly has a special bond with these animals. The suit maker Van's act was exaggerated during a world-class publicity event, when he was photographed playing soccer with three lions in his suit. The zookeeper and animal behaviorist had been working with big cats all his adult life which is why he is not in danger even in formal sportswear. Maybe one day Kevin will take an interest in Triton and meet it, and play soccer with it. It is truly amazing to see a lion as big as Triton in action. The above story shows that no matter how fierce the beast is, they are actually quite mischievous. We just hope Triton can enjoy its retirement. If you enjoyed this story, please give us a like and share it with your friends and family. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.